Hey Gavux here, today I got a review of Andrew McCutcheon's center fielder cardio. I also play left field and right field. He played left field for me admirably because he was, you know, the center was Maze, and I want to take Maze out of that. So 88 speed, defensively great, arm strength is a little bit lower, which is why I prefer him over in left field over say right field. Uh, because of right field, you know, you gotta you know, throw a lot more guys out at third base or home. But like left field it feels like perfect for him. Um, even though IRL he didn't want to play that on the Pirates. Little uh, Starly Marte issue. But anyways. The contact vision are very nice. You can also yoke them quite a bit. Uh, discipline, clutch. Not, a, I'm not as worried about those as the other ones. The other ones I feel like are the most important. But I think the the thing about McCutcheon, and I'll go into his swings a little bit. We'll finish off his stats here. Are they are kind of, they are elite, but there are so many other cards with stats so near this that he doesn't really stand out based off stats. And really, he's kind of like a jack of all trades with what he's got across the board. Like there isn't anything he does poorly, which is nice. Of course, bunting. He's not great at bunting, but who bunts, right? Bunting's for pussies. But McCutcheon, you see, he's got 231 on the board, but he ended up hitting. Uh, I don't know if he went on like a hot streak after this. But he ended up hitting, I think, over 300 for me. Uh, my, my normal average online, I think, is like 350. So he was maybe slightly under that. But he did yoke a few clutch plays for me. So maybe that clutch play, that clutch did come into effect because he hit some, he hit some walk off homers for me. No, maybe not walk off, but close to walk off. Anyways, what's nice about McCutcheon? I feel like he's got a nice compact swing, and it, it seems to be able to um, get to the bag. I don't know how it was out there. I was pissed. Um, it seems to be able to get to balls. That maybe maybe a frame like a couple other uh, other pitches or other swings on the inside wouldn't be able to get to. Seems like it can get around. Like it's a nice sweet level swing that does drive some balls from the gap over the fence. He can uh, pull it down the line pretty nicely. Um, something like yeah, it's tough catching up to 99. Of course, this is all like I say, all of this is on Hall of Fame. I, I got to make that uh, mention every single time. Um, too late. So you see me kind of swinging wildly, flailing around. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty solid curveball, and we just jacked it! Yeah, so, McCutcheon has a nice sweet swing. It does seem to, like, if you square it up, he seems to do damage. Like, I think the difference between cards for me is, and really kind of the determining thing that I've, I've come around to on cards. Some cards, when you square things up, like, don't let the, don't have the ball fall that much from him. I know a lot of it's RNG, of course, but then there are other cards when you do hit the ball squarely, it seems to either go over the fence or drop um, between fielders or go between or find holes, stuff like that. So McCutcheon, he finds holes. He, he, he jokes them over the yard. I should have had an RBI there. I was really pissed at running. So he finds holes, even though, like, you know, his, his batting average maybe is not as good as other players like me. It still feels like when I'm on the ball with him, he's turning that into hits. So, like, obviously when I miss it, He's got his, you know, much chance, maybe not as much chance to say like the Loftons or the Ichiros of the world uh, to, to get the ball through. But when I'm close to the ball, when I'm swinging well, McCutcheon rewards me. And that's, I think, the most important thing about a card is that they reward you. Like, got, there's certain guys with certain swings, like like Dunn. Dunn absolutely rewards me. Guys that don't reward me, I'm trying to think of uh, who's a player that I've said doesn't reward me. When I, uh, uh, Hafner, I feel like only sl slightly rewards me. He doesn't reward me as much as he should. That is a card similar to Dunn. Um, another outfielder that didn't reward. I don't know. I, I'm having a brain fart right now. Which one guy didn't reward me um, as much? But there are definitely those types. I don't know if you guys have felt them. Maybe this is just me personally. But I've heard this from other people that they like McCutcheon. And maybe this is just voodoo and I'm talking randomness. But McCutcheon stats, McCutcheon swings. And, and, and really his power plays, right? Because a lot of guys at that same level... They don't hit yokes like that as well as McCutcheon. So grab him. I love his swing if you can afford him. Otherwise, I think there are great alternatives to what he can provide out there. So he's not like a must-have. But if you're a Pirates fan like me, grab him. But uh, I ended up selling my McCutcheon off already, if that makes any difference to you. Thanks for watching Call the Action. I'll see you tomorrow.